we arrived here, uh, there was a snowstorm. We haven't had much this winter, but uh, were you prepared for that? <laughs> were you like, how, how often have you seen snow, and were you thinking to yourself, maybe this was not the best idea? To be honest, I wasn't prepared for it at all. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to, like, snow. But, because actually it's my first time seeing snow, like, ever. So getting to experience that in, like, my first day, it was kind of cool. Yeah, but I wasn't praying, but I wasn't looking forward to, like, see, see a lot. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. Yeah, Ten years ago, we had, like, three feet of snow, so it's coming, but not maybe this year. Oh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> You're trying to drive <laughs> away. Fine, but <laughs> I cannot live with that, but, yeah, I like it. What was the most surreal part about all of this these past this past month? Um, probably the weather, because it's changed a lot. Like, um, since I got here, it's, like the first day I got here, it was snowing. Then the other day it was windy. Then the day after it was really nice. So I don't understand this weather. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's only because it's so different than Egypt. So yeah. Yeah, what's the weather in Egypt kind of this time here? It's like hot in the summer and cold in the winter, like mm-hmm. normal. And it's it's actually nice weather now. Like it doesn't get really cold um, as it get here, obviously. Um, but it gets pretty hot in the summer. So yeah. what was that like adjusting those first few days? I mean, you're coming. There's like the snowstorm. You're starting classes, and then the first game right um, after that. I was overwhelmed at first, but um, everyone is helping me. Um, I mean, like, the coaches, the staff, like, my teammates, they helped me a lot with everything. Uh, Even in school, like, I wasn't feeling like, uh, you know, it's, like, hard for me to come here, especially because I came, like, all the way from Egypt or whatever. But um, I didn't feel like I was alone or, like, I don't know what to do because my teammates were were here next to me, like, um, all the time. So, mm-hmm. and the coaches and everyone that have for me, so, so, yeah. How important was it for you to be on a team with so many international <coughs> players and to have Dork and Nick and, and have they put their arms around you and said, here's what you need to do here, mm-hmm. here's what you need to do here? Um, it was really, really helpful. Like, I liked that a lot, especially, like, um, we all came from different places, so it's really interesting to know more, like, about each other's culture and... Um, and everything actually because also um, obviously it wasn't a, like it was hard for Nika and Dorka and like everyone at first when they got here but um, they really helped me a lot with everything and yeah. Is there one thing you can say where, where you were like oh this is kind of confusing and one of them helped you out? Is there a, um, actually the, the most part I was struggling like um, in it was part like the school like the school part because it was uh, something new for me. Uh, it's a lot different than high school, also especially in Egypt, even though I was doing my school online, never mind. But uh, yeah, like going to classes, um, managing like study hall hours and stuff like, because uh, also I came like a week late for school. So kind of like catching up was, wasn't the easiest, but I got a lot of help. Can you, talk about the, can you talk about the process that you went through December, January, to decide to come here early? Yeah, so um, I graduated early, so I wanted to come here like to to like adjust earlier and just um, you know get get it over like get the schoolwork going on and just start earlier. I thought it'd be better for me like. I thought it would be easier for me like next year when I start playing. Um, so yeah, I thought maybe if I like came early, it adjust better like with school and stuff. Uh, I thought it would be easier before like I get to play with like school, you know what I mean? Yeah. How have you been, like how have practice been? <coughs> Has it been like a huge learning curve or how have you just adapted to the, their system? Um, actually, I'm not fully in practice yet, but um, I'm doing like, some individual stuff with um, Coach CD. So I'm just like getting it step by step until I be like fully in practice. Can you you talk about how growing up, being able to watch professional women's basketball um, has helped yourself and other international players kind of be aware of what goes on in the United States in terms of women's basketball and what drew you 
to the, to the U.S. college system when obviously there were different routes you mm -hmm. could take? So like uh, my whole life was about basketball because my dad. dad. Yeah. Um, so I was born into the game. Like I have like some old pictures when I'm like one or two years old, like in the basketball court with my dad. So it's it has always been my thing, like watching basketball, learning about basketball every day, and trying to get better in it. So yeah, it's like um, it was very interesting to me, like because. When once I started playing for my national team, I started looking like um, started looking at basketball like outside of Egypt, like professionally, like internationally. And started watching um, basketball in the United States, in Europe, and all over the world. And so yeah, it started when I when I started playing for my national team. So. What's been your biggest culture shock just coming to America so far? I know you've been here before, but to actually live here is different. Um. Other than the weather, probably, I don't know, I don't know, it's just, just the weather, to be honest, but yeah. Jared, so having your dad be your dad, has that helped you adjust to having Gino as a coach? Was absolutely. your dad similar? And how absolutely, are they similar? absolutely, absolutely. They're a lot similar. In what ways? Like coaching, in coaching, they're very similar, uh, being tough on me, like always, oh, like, you know, it's just the thing on the court. I just feel it on the court, so, yeah. And you mentioned doing, like, you know, individual drills and things like like that. What kind of things have you, you know, been doing, the, you know, this last month or so? Um, starting, like, to work on the details first and the individuals um, to be able to, like, be in practice, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, started getting a step by step. Can you describe your game and just what your strengths are? Um, so I like, I like to drive into the basket and I like shooting three points and um, also doing like post moves. So yeah, I like doing everything the part. Why so, UConn? Hmm? Why UConn? Because I wanted to, as an Egyptian kid, um, not a lot of, I don't think any any Egyptian player has come to UConn and um, being able to be in a different program is really what I was looking for and um, you know just because I wanted to get better and better and play into the next level and experience like um, and how to get ready for like the next level. I, I want to be like prepared for what's coming next for me and I'm really excited. Have you always spoken English? How many languages do you speak and how many are you fluent in? Um, my first language is Arabic, obviously, mm -hmm. and I've been into an English school my whole life, so I speak English, still not the best, but okay. yeah, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm still working on it, and uh, I know a little French, so yeah, that's it. Is Lou helping you out a little bit with that? Too? Yeah. <laughs> what was it like to be in the environment of the South Carolina game? Obviously you weren't playing, but that was a huge game. Just to be on the sideline and witness that as a, as a freshman, what was that like? It was, I don't know how to explain it, it was amazing. Like, um, like the fans, like the vibes of the game, it was just different. Um, like obviously, yeah, I'm, I've, like um, back home, we had we used to have like these a lot of fans, but um, in COVID we didn't have that fans. But so, but it wasn't like a lot like here, you know. It's, it was here. It's, it's different. Like um, I was so excited uh, for this game and can't wait to play. It made me really uh, more more even excited to like be in the game. So usually players are like thinking just about the next game ahead, but you you guys are in a unique situation with Paige and and AZ and that you kind of get to look forward to next year and see what that mm -hmm. might be like. Have you guys been talking about it and all the players coming in and all the players coming back and have you guys discussed what it's going to be like next year and what are your thoughts? Well, obviously I'm really looking forward to next year and I think it's going to be a great year. Um, and I can't wait for my classmates to come too because it's going to be it's going to be really great. We're going to be like a full team. Hopefully no one's injured prepare very well for what's coming next year.
Yeah. Jordan, I know uh, Dorkin mentioned that you really haven't been afraid to explore the campus on your own, not necessarily with the team, and that you've made some friends on campus. I happened to see I was getting coffee before, so I happened to see oh. you right across the street there. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you, you are Mia. You, how are you adjusted just to campus life? Um, I'm trying to, like, I, obviously, uh, my teammates, like, when I first got here, they were with me everywhere. Jenna would pick you up from here, you're going to go there, everything. But um, I started feeling like I want to, like, explore more. Like, I want to do it just myself. I don't want them to, like, because obviously they have all the other stuff to do. I don't want them to, like, you know. Um, but, yeah, it's... Um, it's been really great and uh, exploring the like, campus and making new friends because some of like my classmates and like some of my classes that they obviously knew me but I didn't know them so um, I've been getting a lot of help from everyone. You mentioned shooting a three are you more of a finesse forward than a physical forward or do you embrace both? I embrace both yeah it depends I don't know it depends on just the game you know so yes. Are you a pretty good three-point shooter, or is it just something you're working on? I am. I think I'm good, and I'm also I'm, I'll work on it. Like I keep working. It just doesn't mean that I'm good at something that I I stop working on it. So I'm working on everything right now, like um, especially improving my skills more and, and everything, really, like um, improving my habits, improving my mentality, improving everything. What are some of those habits that have changed? Hmm? What are some of those habits that you've improved on? My mentality started to change, like, um, being able to do anything during the day, like study, um, go uh, lift in the weight room, um, being in practice, shoot, like, do everything in the day just makes me feel like good about myself, like, so, yeah. So you've been to several NBA camps. Hmm? You've been to several in, in, NBA camps. Mm -hmm. um, so is your goal, um, first of all, how did those help prepare you for this? And is your goal now the WNBA? Is it oh, Europe? Is it what, what? What do you ultimately want to get out of uh, this? Uh, Gold medal? Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, my first goal right now is to is to win a national championship game, uh, champ win the national championship, and uh, obviously make it to the WNBA one day or play professionally. I don't know what Scott has planned for me, but I'll just keep working on myself, um, try to achieve the goals that I want to, and yeah, see, just keep working on myself and. I don't know, like whatever God's planning for me, I'm happy with it, and it's, I know it's good. So. And how did the NBA camps help you? Did they kind of show you that you could play at this level, or what was the what was the best thing you got out of those? Absolutely, like the NBA Academy, um, they really helped me a lot with everything, especially with the like their camps all around the world, not just in Africa, but uh, I was I was I was being able to like go to Australia and. Um, also be on a different environment and different culture, explore, like explore more about like Australia and being the only international player, not as like here. Um, it, it was kind of, I was kind of like alone there, but also I get to like improve on myself and just getting the experience to be there is just something that I'm grateful for.